Hey guys, Rush here with a tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to make my uh, one wide 2x2 two two flush uh, piston door. It's all one wide, so no redstone wiring on each side. I just have one half right here. Uh, as you can see, I'm not doing this with pear squirrel. That's because we couldn't really arrange a time to do this, and I know a lot of you have been wanting and waiting for this tutorial. Um, but yeah, uh, for those of you who don't know what this is, I'll quickly get into this, but this is what we're going to be making today. As you can see, push the button, and then it opens up. Um, this other side would be like another walkway over here. It's all flat, so your ground would actually be like right here. Um, doesn't matter. But you can come here, it's all one wide, so push the button. And we'll close it up again. It uh, serves as a nice gate, uh, like an entry to a castle or anything like that. Um, I'm pretty sure Pear Squirrel, if you know who that is, uh, some of you may, some of you won't. I'll add a link to his YouTube channel, but pretty sure he's going to make his own version of this, but this is my version right here. Uh, it may be really similar to this, or it may be really different from this. Uh, it all depends, but I like this uh, design. I compacted it a lot from my first initial video, so let's get on to actually how you make this. So, open it, and let's get started. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want a two high clearance. So, uh, two blocks up and then place pistons right there. Okay, very simple. And I'm actually going to swap this out with that. Okay, uh, you're going to want to dig, or put, not dig, but place blocks right there and extend three out from each side. And then you can remove that. And then, say, other side, one, two, three. Then you can remove the insides because we're going to be placing pistons right there and right there. Okay, awesome. Now we're going to place two blocks right here, so it's adjacent to these right here. And then you're going to place a block right there under the, these two pistons right here. And on this side it's going to be a little bit different, but it's not going to be too complicated. You're going to place a um, block right there. I use orange wool to uh, kind of symbolize something, to symbolize... Uh, more importance so block right there block right there and now uh, comes kind of the confusing part but I'll try to keep this as not confusing as possible so you're gonna want to stack blocks or place blocks on all the sides like this okay and then extend it out like so you're gonna want uh, two repeaters right here one right there, one right there, and then other same exact thing on this side. One right there, one right there. Like I said, this side is going to be a little bit different, and there is a purpose for that, because uh, if we didn't do this, then it would completely mess up the whole entire thing uh, in the end. So, another repeater right here. Now, for tick adjustments, my favorite part. Make sure you're listening closely. Do everything I do, or else you're going to be screwed. Or, yeah. So, uh... Four ticks on this, two ticks right there. You're gonna want this uh, at three ticks, four ticks, four ticks, three ticks. Same exact thing on that side, so four and two. And because we have a repeater that's already at one tick right here, we're actually gonna keep this at one tick. But make sure you have it on this side as two ticks. Okay, and then now for our redstone wiring, we're gonna add uh, redstone right there. And then add it right here. Oh, and then I forgot one thing. You're going to want a repeater right here, right here, both at one tick. And then add redstone wiring all through here. Now, on this corner here, it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to add glowstone there. And I'll have an explanation video on how all of this works, so you can check that out if you're one of those people who uh, like to learn everything that they're doing. Uh, I suggest you check it out because it's especially good for peop those of you who are... I uh, want to learn redstone a lot better. So, uh, this is going to be our input to the whole entire thing. Okay? Input. Going to have a piston on top of there. Uh, we'll stack two up from the ground here, and you're going to have a line uh, right here. You're going to have two redstone right there. Uh, come up from right here. Stack it out. Stack it up. And make kind of like this square thing. Repeater right there, set to three ticks. And just light it up like this okay so now this is what we have initially created right now if I add in the blocks and I haven't screwed this up then um, bam it, all, our pops get popped out really fast really nice 
We tracked it back in, uh, and I messed up on something, and I always do this. You have to add redstone right there. Always forget that. Make sure you remember that. So we just do this again. Blocks in place. We get uh, our iron blocks retracted back in. But we got to do something about these little floating blocks up there. And that's when the double piston extender comes in. So pay attention. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove these top pistons right here. And you'll see why in a bit. Uh, two torches right here. And then add. you can add your pistons back up here. Now, um, this part you're going to want to have as your flooring. So if your floor is wood, then you're going to want to have this as wood. But I'm just going to use stone brick. So pretend that your flooring right now is stone brick. So yeah. And then I'll swap this back out. Sorry if this is kind of taking me a while. Hope it's not. Uh, but two blocks there. Uh, make a 4x4 four four, like kind of like that. And then extending out. Two repeaters right there, and then uh, right here, you're going to want to have a piston, like that, uh, and then extend it two out like that, and then you're going to want a three, like this, kind of like a, th a three by three, like that, and then you're going to want repeater, 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 and then uh, tick adjustments, yeah, so keep those at one, you're going to want redstone along this line right here though gonna want this at three ticks you're gonna want this one at oh keep this at one and then I believe this is at four and two yeah it's at four and two I don't want to screw this up while making a tutorial oh yeah remove that because we're gonna add a torch there which is why I uh, see that the double piston extender bam extends it perfectly and if I undid this it extends out so now we need to connect the two parts so uh how that w works is right when we extend this out and then it goes back in uh then we need it to grab the other two pistons there and reset the whole thing so uh we do this using a falling edge trigger and like it said if you want to know what that is then watch the explanation video of this uh put up an annotation but yeah, so I'm going to switch this out to green because I usually green for anything that means input uh, to something. So this is going to be the input to the falling edge trigger right here. And you're going to want a uh, block right there. And you're going to have to branch it out from the sides like that. And then add in your redstone. You're going to need a repeater right there. And then block, repeater right there, right there. Okay, uh, you got to imagine this piston sticking out and where it ends you're going to want it right there because when this piston is going to extract or uh, come outward then it's going to be covering this and yeah so uh, from there you want to make two blocks there and let's do tick adjustments so uh, four right here four and two and then you're going to want to connect these all together like that and then uh, make sure that's right there and then just wire it in like that and then you've just connected those two parts together and now that that's all wired up uh, we're actually going to test this first and to test it you have to remove the redstone right there and uh, when I do that it will retract out so that's perfect so now we can remove this and we can trout the whole entire thing you want to make sure you check over everything to make sure you have everything right it looks like I didn't screw up anything so flip down Bam, 2x2 two two is out, go back in, and you've just created a one wide 2x2 two two flush door. Thanks for watching. Explanation video is in the corner right now. Click that if you want to know how anything worked in here. Um, if you wanted to know how I made this button just kind of randomly in the air, not connected to anything, then I suggest you watch that video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then be sure to subscribe for more and uh, tell me what you thought. And uh, post your video responses on uh, if you improve this design or if you just want to post a video response because you just love my YouTube videos. So yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos and to subscribe. I'll see you guys later.